kids welcome to the maths class today we will do addition and subtraction of different units of money the main objective of today's learning is to understand how to do addition and subtraction of different units of money now before that let's revise the meaning of money again kids Money is a medium of exchange in the form of coins and notes. Now let's learn how to do its addition. The sum is rupees 20 plus rupees 30. Now before going to start with the sum, our first step is to write down the place value chart on both the numbers. Now after equals to again write down the place value chart that is ones and tens. First we will add ones with ones. It means we will add zero plus zero. So the answer is zero and we will write zero under ones. Now we will add tens with tens. It means we will add two with three. So two plus three. The answer is five. We will write five under tens, and with that we will write the unit that is rupees. It means rupees twenty plus rupees thirty. The answer is rupees fifty. Now let us practice few more examples. The exercise is addition. Number one, rupees five. Plus rupees ten. Here, first we will write down the place value chart. That is ones. Now, in the answer, again we will write down the place value chart first. That is ones. Now, five plus two, five on the head and two on the tips. One, two. Now, what comes after five? Six, seven. The answer is seven, so we will write seven under ones. With that, we will write the unit that is rupees. Kids, while doing addition, don't forget to write down the unit also. Number two is ten pesa plus twenty pesa. Again, before going to add, our first step is to write down the place value chart on it. Ones. Tens, ones, tens. Now here in the answer, first we will write down the place value chart. Ones and tens. Now we will add ones with ones and tens with tens. Zero plus zero. First we will start the addition from the one side. So we will add zero plus zero. Zero plus zero. The answer is zero. So we will write zero under ones. Now one plus two, one on the head and two on the tip. One two. Now what comes after one? Two three. The answer is three. So we will write three under tens. With that again we will write the unit that is pesa. Number three rupees thirty. Plus rupees forty. Again, first we will write the place value chart. Ones, tens, ones, tens. Now here again we will write the place value chart first. Ones and tens. Now we will add zero with zero. Zero plus zero. The answer is zero. So we will write zero under ones. Three plus four, three on the head and four on the tips. One, two, three, four. Now what comes after three? Four, five, six, seven. Seven is the answer, so we will write seven under tens. Now here with that we will write the unit that is rupees. Okay. Now let's take one more example. Number four is. Rupees sixty plus rupees thirty. Again, we will add it, but before that, we will write the place value chart. One cent, tens. Now, in the answer, again, we will write the place value chart. 
ones and tens. Now we will add zero again with zero. Zero plus zero, the answer is zero, and zero we will write under ones. Next is six plus three. Six on the head and three on the tips. One, two, three. Now what comes after six? Seven, eight, nine. Nine is the answer, so we will write nine under tens. And again we will write the unit that is rupees. Number fifth is seventy pesa plus ten pesa. Now again we will write the place value chart first. Ones, tens, ones, tens. In the answer again, one cent, tens. Now zero plus zero. As we start addition from the one side, so zero plus zero. The answer is zero, and we will write zero under ones. Now seven plus one. Seven plus one. The answer is. Eight. So we will write eight under tens. With that, again we will write the unit that is pesa. Now let's learn how to do subtraction of different units of money. Here we will subtract rupees ten from rupees thirty. Now again we will write down the place value chart that is ones and tens on the numbers. Then after equals to, again we will write ones and tens. Now we will subtract ones from ones. It means zero minus zero. The answer is zero, and we will write zero under ones. Now we will subtract tens from tens. It means three minus one, and for that we will start counting after one and stop at three. Now what comes after one? Two. Three. So the answer is two. We'll write two under tens, and with that we will write the unit given that is rupees. It means rupees thirty minus rupees ten. The answer is rupees twenty. Now let us practice few more examples. Exercise is subtraction. Here we will subtract the money. Now one is rupees six minus rupee one. Here we will write down the place value chart that is ones. Now again in the answer first we will write down the place value chart. Now six minus one, six minus one. The answer is five. So we will write five under ones, and with that we will write the unit that is rupees. Number two is fifty pesa minus twenty pesa. Again, we will write the place value chart: one cent tens, one cent tens. Now, in the answer, again we will write the unit: one cent tens, and we will start subtraction from the ones side. So, zero minus zero, the answer is zero, and we will write zero under ones. Next is five minus two. Now we will start counting after two and stop at five. Now what comes after two? Three, four, five. It means one, two, three. Three is the answer, so we will write three under tens. Again with that we will write the unit that is pesa. Number third is rupees ninety. Minus rupees thirty. Again, before going to subtract, our first step is to write down the place value chart. So we will write the place value chart that is one cent tens, one cent tens. Again, in the answer, we will write one cent tens. Now zero minus zero. The answer is zero, and we will write zero under. Ones. Now nine minus three. Nine minus three. It means we have to start counting after three and stop at nine. Now what comes after three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Means one, two, three, four, five, six. 
answer is 6 so we will write 600 tens with that we will write the unit rupees number fourth is rupees 70 minus rupees 10 again let's write the place value chart first one cent tens one cent tens and again in the answer we will write the place value chart one cent tens now zero minus zero answer is zero so we will write zero under ones now seven minus one seven minus one what is the answer what comes before seven six so we will write six under tens and with that we will write the unit rupees number fifth is 80 pesa minus 60 pesa here again we will write the place value chart one cent tens one cent tens in the answer again we will write one cent tens now we will start subtraction from the one side so we will subtract zero with zero zero minus zero the answer is zero and we will write zero under ones next is eight minus six now, now we will start counting after six and stop at eight now what comes after six seven eight it means one two the answer is two so we will write two under tens and again with that we will write the unit that is passe now let us recall what we have learned today Today we have learned the addition and subtraction of different units of money. And for that, step 1 is read the numbers and units carefully. Step 2, write place value chart on the numbers. Step 3, write place value chart at the top of the answer. Step 4, solve the sum. And step 5, write the unit after the answer. Now kids, I hope you all understood how to do addition and subtraction of different units of money. So take out your snap homework and maths copy and do your work. Thank you.